previously on Icy Mario 64. Oh yeah, I thought I messed up there. Hit the eye! You're done, son! Oh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Don't hurt me no more! Don't, don't tell me, cause I hit you in the eyeball! Oh, cause I'm, cause I'm smart! Ah, oh, dang it, I did it again. You know what, I'll pick that up in a second. Hi, hey, and all those other Greetings Fed Adventures, welcome back to another episode of Mario Tennis Aces. On Speed Gals Productions, game and boxing channel with me, Jake Spins, who owns and creates On Speed Gals Original as well, with Girl Cyclones, Quincor, Floralite, and Vlogs. So, let's jump into this, because man, last episode was short, but we did hear a blimp. I was laughing a little bit. And Toad says, did you see that? That's the airship we took to get to the island. So, um... Nobody thought to guard that. I bet Luigi and the others are in there right now. In fact, I'm sure of it. That's not even remotely okay. I bet they're using my cup holder too! personal cup holder. It has a nice plaque that my grandma made. And we screwed it on the front. And it says, Toad and Big Capital Ladders. The airship appears to be headed towards the sea. They must have their sights on the next infinity. I mean, Power Stone. We better hurry so they don't beat us. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Let's -a go! And we can now play the Snowfall Mountain Court. You know, I'm very okay with that. That was actually a really fun court. And a really fun way to do an I Oh my god. And we get pooped out! Oh, that's kind of cool. So what does... I swear there was another... Eh, whatever. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> I thought there was like another place oh, different from that, but... I was curious about that, so I'll, why not? So, he's just... Oh, I was going to say he's just okay with that. Step right there, strangers. I can spot an out-of-towner from a mile away. It's a gift. Anyhow, what brings you here? Why are Koopas so judgmental? I mean, we accidentally killed one with a tennis racket. Oh, I, I shouldn't talk about that while we're on a ship that's owned by a Koopa. My bad. Yes, hello. Sorry, but... What are you talking about? Don't you remember us from the forest? Ah, you must be an acquaintance of my little friend. Nurse Joy! God dang it. Okay. He and I run the ship together. Yes, I know. The resemblance is striking. Yeah, the resemblance of your whole species is striking. Especially in Mario Strikers. No? Okay. I see. Well, if it's not too much trouble, then make it double if you would consider bringing me and my, my homie Mario to set sail. Hmm? Can we? You might be the strangest stranger of stringing strangers I've ever met. Don't you know there's a raging storm out there? Taking a boat out there would be insane! Not even Jack Sparrow would do it. I'm sure we'll manage somehow with your expertise on our side. Please! We've got to find a way to get my cup holder back! I mean, the, the power stuff is one of me and the other. I have no idea what a uh, power stone or, or a Luigi are. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this man has never been to Italy. <laughs> okay, but no can do. They, they say a giant sea monster has been causing trouble lately. It's way too dangerous. I wonder how we'll fight the giant sea monster. Just, just, 
the same. Legend has it, there's some ancient sunken treasure in the water around these parts. Monsters love treasure! It's basic math, fella. Actually, you said the reason was because of the storm. Now you're saying it's because of a monster. I think you're lying. Let's see. Your nose is twitching, too. So I feel like you're lying. Mario, Mario feels the same way. Toad's a little Toad's a little concerned. He's a little concerned he left the oven on. He's concerned that he um he forgot to take out and eat his microwave dinner after cooking it, which would suck after coming back like two weeks later from a tennis vacation. You know, it would be all smelly and moldy. So Toad's Toad's very concerned, preoccupied, as Koopa's just blankly staring like What even are you people? Locals believe that nasty sea monster guards the treasure and that it gets angry and causes awful ship sinking turbulence if anyone tries to take it. You do realize this is, I don't know, an airship. Just, uh, wanna, wanna put that thought out there really quick. Just, just saying. Just, you know, not gonna... Wow. Okay. And I think there's Bowser. Why are the Bowser logos on there if it's yours and your brother's? Like, what? <laughs> Did you steal it from Bowser? Are you a part of Bowser Corporation? I, I don't know. Any poor soul who tries messing with that monster is bound to end up in its belly. That's what they said about Hooktail. Again, just saying. An ancient sunken treasure? Oh my gosh. We get the points. <laughs> Look, we'll take care of the sea monster somehow. I beg of you, please take us on your boat. Huh? You're really serious about this? Do I have to call my lawyer? Because I'll get a restraining on your order on you. I heard Shy Guys have amazing lawyers too, but uh, the Shy Guys at the Snowfall Summit, not so much though. Those, those lawyers are not that great. Well, sure, whatever. But if it gets too dangerous, I'm turning my boat back and taking out my emergency phone. Fair enough, Koopa. And Mario is 21 levels. So that's cool. The Savage Sea Coast. <laughs> Ooh, the sea is savage. Ooh. It's just like, your mustache looks so untrim. And you, your head is so big. That's what they use for the nacho cheese dip. <laughs> Yikes, the storm is insane. It's even being so savage. And whoa, look at that. A part of the savage's child. We have no choice, Mario. We have to become savages. We have to get our forks, knives, and tennis rackets and beat this guy. In limbo! Because clearly, that's that's what we're doing. We're this is this is actually Mario Limbo Aces. I know it doesn't make much sense, but um, you know, a Mario Limbo game had to come at some point, right? Okay. Sudden, suddenly, this <laughs> this map really frustrates me now. Because it's at, okay, so it's at such an angle and so fast that you actually have to figure out, like, okay, when is it going to hit the mast? But I think it, if there's a star location, it changes the thing. That's my guess. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta figure this out because I do, I like the idea of the course. But now that I'm actually, like... But see, he misses that. That's the thing. That's the complete thing that just seems weird to me. Because he could... It feels like he could have made that. Unless I just made too good of a serve. I don't know. Oh! Oh, I missed that.
How to try it. But it's out. Oh my god. I'm trying so hard to. What is that timing for that too? But that- You are really getting on my nerves, Flooper. You are really, really just- You, this stage, and then that's not because I'm back. And the angle, and just- See that? That's just obnoxiously stupid. Like- Cause there's no way to really know. Fall, frick. I'm so happy before. And then they gave me this. Thank you. Thank you for getting him getting it out. Thank you. Because that means I can work. I'm getting the meter. I want to work on getting the meter, but I mean, that's okay. If I have that advantage, that's fine. Oh. Okay. I was gonna bring it back by breaking his racket, but okay. That's fine. Fault. Okay, good. Feel free to fault that again, by the way. Yeah, the first one, I, I tripped up a little bit. But uh, that one. Because I for, for some reason, I forgot. I was like, oh, right. He has to serve still. <laughs> like, okay. But, okay, so what it seems like, he has that standard racket, and because of the power we have on the on the ice racket, we only have to do it twice instead of three times like we would normally have to do. Nice, okay. We just gotta, again, we just gotta get that angle, and it seems like the further back you are, the science is, if you look, if you're closer, the angle is sharper. So the angle that you shoot it at is the angle it'll come back at. Okay, well, he got unlucky with his serve, but that's fine. He did not for that one, though. Get it at him. Yeah, and then I got the game on that one. Okay, so I think, I think realistically, I just had to figure it out, and it was making me upset <laughs> because I just had to figure it out. So we're okay now. Now that I understand, and I'm not, like, completely confused... And just being like, okay, this feels a little bit cheeky and unfair. Um, and you know what? I shouldn't have been getting upset. Because it, it really has been too easy up to this point. So a small bit of challenge, you know, that's that's fine. I got it out. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to want to see that. Because I don't know if that was... Because I was fairly far back. I wasn't far back enough, though. Oh, I got that nice, though. So it seems like most of the time, um, off court is going to be more discouraged, or maybe maybe not. Those aren't the right words, but like cross court, that's the words I'm looking for. Cross court is not going to be as encouraged. Now, if I can get this knockout, that would be fantastic. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because I have those two games. Nope. I ran out. I, I ran out. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's definitely fine. I was afraid I got out there because I saw it nick the thing. And it, it rebounded. So I was like, no, 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 no.
Alright, it looks like he he's having a bit of trouble. That's what I'm getting from this. He is having a small bit of trouble. That was definitely my opportunity. That definitely was my opportunity to just bring it back with um with one of those. But you know what? I took another opportunity and got the point and the game. So that's really good. And we still got a little bit more. So I can still break more of his rackets. There we go. Caught him snoozing a little bit. But he caught me snoozing as well. So that's going to really stink. Because that's going to bring him the advantage. Except I know one thing that he... Okay. That he does not... And that's the fact that I'm going to use my special. Now, so far, they haven't blocked and they've gone for it every single time. This is probably going to change, so i got to not be too comfortable with using this move. But that also means that we have a big advantage. If we can just get our special up one more time. One more time, we can break that other racket, and we'll have that point advantage. So yeah, we did we did stink up the place a little bit before, but right now, okay, not what I wanted. Not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to build things up. It looks like maybe. Apparently, the game has other plans for me. Okay. Again, a little frustrating, but nothing I can't handle. Alright, got the point on that. But again, the points is not what I'm aiming for. So while he did get one game, we are still one game set ahead of him. And we are going for that racket break. I'm okay with that. That's just 15. And again, since we're going for that racket break, it's not going to really matter all that much. Of course, as I'm saying this, I'm not getting enough for a special. Okay. You're killing me! I didn't think it was gonna... I, ju I just wanted to break his racket. I just wanted to break his racket. That's, that's all. That's, that's really all. And honestly, I should have... I realized right as I was doing it, I was like, oh, that was a really bad call. I'm just going to stop talking right now. Okay. It's done. That made me a little nervous. Well, that's a lot to cut out. And that's 25 minutes that game took. So, I don't know what's going to be next. But, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this to another recording. So, I'll be back in just a little bit. Well, that was a doozy fight in blooper, wasn't it? <laughs> the mast in the middle definitely gave me a lot of trouble. I had so much more energy built up, too. You could tell. I was I was definitely into the game of pressuring him. So, there is that. Oh, you can hit A to fast 
Okay, make that faster. That's great to know. Because before, it was like, eh, this is a little slow. But whatever, that's fine. You did it! We still have the storm to contend with. But it's a relief to know you can protect us from any blooper-related danger. <laughs> Speaking of, let's find the blooper that's guarding the power stone. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Um, is this... Please don't tell us it's going straight into the boss, though. Okay, so we're going into the bay. Um, Mario, there's an extremely enormous shadow besides the boat. Oh, okay, great. So we're going into the blooper battle, into the boss. So this is blooper v. blooper. Just whole bloopers. Oh, no. That must be the real sea monster. The ship can't take much more of this! Give it all, give it your all, Mario. All right, let's go. So we're going from the blooper battle, which took basically a whole episode length to record, into Cooper Blooper from Super Mario Sunshine. Now we haven't actually seen Gooper Blooper in a while. He's shown up in the tennis games, but he does end up doing quite an interesting amount of stuff. It is actually really nice to see him back again, especially in such a form like this, to where he's just doing a whole bunch of this. Oh, so you do actually have to jump over his arm, but it tells you. Things I didn't realize. Okay, well that stinks. That's okay. There are certain things that I definitely did not realize, but okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I know how to trick shot Toad. I understand. Okay, you can't tell me that I made it halfway through the game and I don't know how to trick shot. I obviously know how to trick shot Toad. It's a harder boss. Um, okay, so mechanics wise, yes, it is a little ridiculous, but at the same time, is it a good idea for a boss? Yeah, it's just... Control's a little weird because of how you have to trick shot everything. Just to make it through. And so far, I really don't enjoy it that much. Just for the sheer fact of... It's definitely really weird to do. Also, I did not know you could trick shot zone shots. Which is definitely interesting. Alright, here we go! Hit you in the eye with your own goop. Which is definitely even more interesting. What's even more frustrating is, again, I hit the trigger. That is, so far, that's my problem with this boss. Is you have to hit it perfectly. However, even though you have to hit it perfectly, it's very weird with all the timing for tricks. And when you can do tricks and when you're allowed to do tricks. Now, for this, I'm not going to risk the time. There's no point. I'm just going to leave this alone. I do think that Gooper Blooper looks really amazing in this game, though. So, that's at least something I'll give them. Alright, there we go. I mean, granted, I did forget a little bit that we would have to deal with these. But, you know, that's still fine because we made it. If I really wanted to, I could technically use a special. But, I'm not going to. I'm just going to let that splatter. It doesn't make us lose time, so might as well. You know, no harm. No harm, no foul, right? That's how they say it. Yes, because I totally didn't hit the trigger. Game! Oh my god. Come on. I've had to say this so many times, and it's very frustrating. Okay, I think that does do more damage, probably. No, that's gonna give me a too early. <laughs> this, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Blocked you. Boop. I mean, granted, I could always just use my special for this, but not really much of a point in doing Too early. 
Okay, well, I guess instead of freezing him, we will just do that. I will say, though, the hip, off, the hip back is a lot better, though. Because it's, it's very straightforward, and I, I'm definitely liking that part, because it's not convoluted at all. Also, what are you going to do? Oh, just down flat. Okay, I thought you were going to do the crisscross. Okay. Oh, I did not realize there was also a wave thing. I guess I technically should have realized this. And that's an attack you can't dodge unless you do a trick shot. So. Wee! Yeah! Let's go! And I know how this one works, except for the fact that instead of going left, I should have gone right. Oh, bulb. Oh. My bad. Okay. You have to either do it on the mark or in time, but okay. Got it on those two, though, which is really nice. It's definitely nice when you pull off the trick shot without the slowdown. Oh. Okay. Fine. Hit him. And sorry that I'm, my commentary is very lackluster. But, you know, sometimes that's unfortunately just how that works. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Because there's no point. I mean, granted, I probably shouldn't have risked that one. But I do still have two more rackets anyway. This is an online where, you know, you actually have to worry about that stuff. Um, except for the fact that I should have definitely waited a little bit. Because now, we are on our last two rackets. With 25 seconds left. Okay, I really need to get my stuff together now. Come on. Please, 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 please. Seven seconds left. Fall off that boat. Fall off the boat. Come on. Fall off the boat. Oh, uh, that would have been so satisfying if he just fell off the boat. Why didn't you make him fall off the boat? Dang it, man. Could have had him fall off the boat. Whatever. You know what? Some bloopers just don't want to fall off the boat. Wah, wah. Either way, though. He is still... Decent shit, mate. We beat the sea monster, but still no sign of the power stone. Probably that somebody else has it. Oh, great. <laughs> Wario and Waluigi. It's funny, though, because you'd think you'd hear, like, some kind of evil Luigi laugh or something like that. Okay, well, um... I'm gonna take a quick break. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back two more Mario Tennis Aces. So, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, show us out with everybody you know and love, and keep those safe. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can go to the right of the screen to find more SGP videos, as well as some SGO videos, and to the left, you can find the subscription button for SGP and SGO. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!